What's going on everyone? So it is the daily UI design challenge update for day number 11. So this isn't actually a design. This is my first iteration, but I just want to show you guys starting off with this and the goal for the day was to create a flash message. So essentially they wanted you to create one that it was a success and then one that was an error. So I'm not, this isn't the completed design. Um, I don't know if you saw in the thumbnail, but this isn't the uh, end one. So I'm just going to show you the initial design and then how I ended up evolving it over time. Cause when I first made it, I was like, something just does not look right. It look, looks kind of off to me and it just doesn't look as uh, aesthetic as I want it to. But basically you can see here, this is the, um, on the left side, this is the success uh, option right here. On the right side, this is the error. So essentially someone like went to contact you, right? And you enter your email, whatever, contact form, and then boom, you'd say, thank you, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And for some reason, the coloring, I don't know, I just randomly did this, you know, pretty quickly. Also, by the way, this is all made from scratch. I was like, you know, this has to, I have to change something. So basically what I did, here's the next iteration down here. So what I did was I, um, I resized the logos, made them much bigger now. And also you can see, let me make sure that, this is actually an image cause I ended up deleting the first um, two. So I can't actually edit these parts right here. These are actually images I had prior that I just saved and downloaded. But essentially I added, enlarged this here, added these cool little figure um, circle and triangles. And then I just put the text down here and then um, button down here. But then I was trying to change the button again. And I did it down here like this. But apparently uh, I was trying to do more of a consistency thing. So again, this isn't even the third, this is just a third version. And then my final one I end up sticking with here is right over here. So, I mean, I could probably change the background to, um, to, to a little darker. And this is basically the final product that I ended up going with. So, um, overall out of these, which ones do you guys think as far as button color makes the most sense? Which one you like, let me know in the comments below, but basically here's a final product and let me show you, uh, my thought process behind here. So if you see from the first one, there's zero uh, shapes on the background, it's just plain. The coloring for this was just weird for me. I don't know what I was doing. And also for this one, the um, coloring was kind of too-ish. I would say it's a little too red. So when I made the button, it was it just identical, identical. It didn't like, I didn't, you can really tell the difference when I did it here. So uh, that's like the main thing I changed. And then here, if you guys were interested in learning how to make this, let me know, I can make another video. But it is essentially, it's two rectangles where I um, I pulled it down the frame here and then on the back is another rectangle here. And then this is simply just another rectangle with um, rectangles in between. And then this is just like a logo for email. And then these shapes, just me adding these little tiny shapes, I feel like it added much more an aesthetic effect to it. It makes it look, look at least to me, much better compared to um, like just this over here. I don't know what. This, this just looks so much weird. Come um, like I'm not gonna lie, this looks kind of ugly to me now that I look at it, but compared to my new design, but um, basically this emphasizes, hey, this is scent. And then here, this one, um, I probably could have deleted the low, um, the, the email part and changed it. But then again, I mean, it's just coloring. It's not, I want to say it makes my life a lot easier to, you know, redesign it. But essentially the blue matches with the, um, this top corner of the blue for the button. And then once you click it, it'll return you back to the home page, or you could just, I could probably put like return. I mean, this, the copy on the ad copy for here isn't, I mean, that big of a point to me right now is more of just assuming like what happens. And then, um, also this doesn't even need to be there. This clearly could just been, I mean, I don't even know what you could add on here. It could literally just say like, thank you. And then you hit the X up here, but I just figured I'd just add the button just for the sake of it. But for here, the, uh, this, this top background is like, it's like a in between mixture of like one of these two colors here. And then I like, I just literally dragged it down a little bit. So, um, I like, I would ch choose the filter part right here and hover over here. Then I would like play around with the thing. So it's not identical, identical, but at least it's like a shade of it. Just a little different so that it obviously you can see it much better visually. And it's not like camouflage where it's like matches the same color. And then also the uh, button, I made it a little lot, lot more red than normal because it's just, 
I don't want to make it the exact same color because it'd be hard to read. Plus, red sort of like the, uh, you know, like red stoplight air type message color. That's why I did green down here. But then I realized like I maybe might be better to do consistency. I mean, this does look better uh, aesthetic to me. But again, as far as like consistency wise, I guess this the blue up here would make more sense. But it just depends on what you're designing. And overall, this is pretty much designed from here. And then this is literally just a triangle and a circle and the stroke down here. So I do this is the design. And then the one thing too, I forgot to mention is this, um, this right here, this background, the curve is just a P, the pen tool I use for Figma. And you literally, you know, just like you click and then, you know, you curve it, curve it, you get the point and then you have to complete the full box. So you gotta go all the way around like this. And then uh, you go to fill, boom, there you go. And then you obviously you just linear or whatever you want. But that's basically what I did for the background, nothing too crazy. And aside from that, this is pretty much my design update for the daily UI design challenge day number 11. So if you enjoyed this video, go down below and hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. And also comment down below what you think about my designs. And I'll see you in the next video.